Oh. Guys, I, I'm... <laughs> I, I gotta start this off with some, with some tequila, some liquor. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh. Guys, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Yeah, got some bad news. I thought this would be a two-year game. Modern Warfare, Roman numeral 2, I mean. I thought that maybe we would get a Call of Duty where they actually like, gave a damn. And actually like gave us a lot of content throughout the year, but no. This is the same goddamn shit we're used to. Saw this tweet today. Just gonna read it verbatim here. Modern Warzone says, despite reports that there will be two years of Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, Activision has stated that there will be a full annual premium Call of Duty title release in 2023. That's not the worst news in the world, but look at this. This game is reportedly being produced by Sledgehammer Games! God damn it! I'm sorry. Sorry for yelling. But <laughs> who is responsible for this decision? Who? 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 I feel like an owl. Who is responsible for this? <laughs> Why? Guys, I, I don't know what to tell you other than is this desperation? Like, this wasn't initially the plan. So, is this desperation? MW2 isn't doing too hot, player retention wise. Neither is Warzone 2. Is this desperation? Have they called upon Sledgehammer Games to, to crap out some rushed piece of garbage for us? I think so. I think I need more alcohol. I haven't drank in like over a month. You know, I, I've been doing pretty good with that. And, and I, I, I'm just. Dr driven to drinking again. Get, get, get. God. Mm. I'm about to turn into only use me blade here. I'm about to lose some teeth and get some holes in my legs at this rate. Guys, can I pull you? Uh, who who wants this? No matter what it is, who wants this? Developed by Sledgehammer Games. In case you guys have forgotten, let me remind you that Call of Duty Vanguard to this day is not just one of the worst Call of Duty games I have played. It's one of the worst games, period, I have ever played, if not the worst. And you might be saying, that's a bit of exaggeration, BT. It's not that bad. That's the Call of Duty Dick Riders excuse for everything that is awful in regards to Call of Duty nowadays. The it's not that bad excuse. That's what it's come to. It's not that bad. The most it's not that bad Call of Duty of all time, according to Activision. Yeah, forget about the most advanced, the most it's not that bad. But no, people will say it's not that bad. No, it is that bad. Let me remind you of something here, guys. I am 33 years old, okay? And, and you might be saying, wow, this guy's freaking out over Call of Duty at 33. Yes, I am, motherfucker. I'll be doing it at 66 in a wheelchair with a catheter shoved up my penis! Ah, uh, but, but, yeah. Don't tell me it's not that bad. It's probably the worst game I've ever played. I've typically stayed away from bad games. Like, I, I had an NES, a Nintendo Entertainment System. If you've watched the Angry Video Game Nerd at all on YouTube, I'm sure most of you have, you'll know that there were some really bad games for that system, right? You didn't have reviews back in the day, or at least reviews that were easily accessible. So a lot of the time, I was going to the pawn shop or the video game store, and my dad was just picking something that looked good and hoping for the best, right? I played some horrible games. I played Friday the 13th on NES. Jason in his purple Belle Delphine anime dildo jumpsuit. Yeah, I played that game. Karate Champ, which was just like the most basic fighting game you could ever play. Not very good. I played some real stinkers, all right? 
Not just on NES, but I, I've been playing bad games all my life, but I, I've, I've done my best to avoid them. Because at a certain point, like, you have to buy your own games, and you don't want to buy something bad, so you gotta really make an informed purchase, right? However, <laughs> I, I don't think, I genuinely don't think I've played a game worse than Vanguard. The multiplayer, horrendous. The single player, woke bullshit. The zombies, HA! What zombies? There's no zombies. It's some mobile game. I mean, Treyarch did what they could with the time they had, but the fact of the matter is, Sledgehammer's so untalented. They had to get Treyarch to come in and develop a mobile zombies mode for their game so they could ship it as a quote-unquote full release. The counter spy plane would block every streak in the game. Every one of them. And it was this way for like seven months. Pack it burst. Matchmaking is still broken, I'm pretty sure. You can't play with friends. Not that anybody would want to play it anyway, but it's just a soulless piece of garbage developed by people that, that are not talented enough to release a Call of Duty, a proper Call of Duty experience. Horrible, just a horrible game. And, and the sales were indicative of that. And I know it's like, we're a year past it now. I know someone will say like, hey, it's not that bad. You know, we'll go back to that. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's better than this, it's better than that. All I know is this, okay? I played that awful game for like a month and I quit. And I never touched it again. And I never will touch it again. It's horrible. It's, it's god-awful. You, you know, like, I ragged on Cold War again. Admittedly, I ragged on Cold War all year, but I still tried to play a little bit of Cold War every now and then because buried deep within just the, the I don't know, <laughs> the Desert Dave decisions, we'll call them, Cold War is, is it's probably the best Call of Duty we've had in the past four years. It's the only game that resembles a classic Call of Duty game. Like, if you squint and you take a shot of whiskey... Yeah, it's kind of like an old Call of Duty. It's it's not as good as any other Treyarch game. It's the worst Treyarch game by a mile. But it 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 kind of resembles. Like I, I can go back and play this, and it feels like Call of Duty. And yeah, that's that's as much as I can ask for. <laughs> Vanguard does not. I'm actually making it sound better than it is. Like I haven't listed that many issues with it. But if you go back and you actually watch my videos on Vanguard. Everything down to the playlist descriptions were messed up. Like, they released this playlist called Killbox. The description for the playlist is just Killbox. What does that mean? Like, they can't even write out a description for a playlist. These games, I don't know what is going on. I, I truly don't know what is going on with, with Call of Duty. Because it's not just Sledgehammer. Like, I think they're the worst. But Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, these guys had so much time. You know, and this is what we got. We, we got this game that people have already left in droves. Steam has lost. It's the only metric I can track. There's a bunch of dick riders saying like, you can't just go off Steam. It's the only numbers I have. If you have console numbers, please give them to me. I will cover them whether they're good or bad. I don't care. I'm not trying to be biased. I'm trying to be factual. All I know is this. Uh, the, Steam has lost like 60 to 70% of its player base since Warzone 2 has come out. That's not good. We have to assume that it's also lost that on console and even Battle.net. Something of the sort around that ballpark. So this seems like a desperation move. Getting Sledgehammer to just churn something garbage out this year. I am incredibly worried. Especially if like they just kind of started on it last month or something. Good God, what's it going to be? If it's some like weird spinoff of this game, it's still going to be bad because this game's bad. Do you think Sledgehammer has the talent to, like, fix this game? No, they don't. I'm out of time, though, guys. I, I want to suplex Joe Sekot through a bottle of Tongkat Ali. It's right next to me on my desk. Peace. This is parting advice.